Cambridge, Massachusetts, February 2013. Analyzing data gathered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, astronomers at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics announce that 6% of all red dwarf stars have habitable Earth-like planets. Because red dwarf stars burn much longer than our sun, the discovery raises the possibility that life on these planets could be much older and much different than life on Earth. The environment plays a, a really pivotal role in sort of the direction um, that organisms evolve. And so you can imagine that evolution played out on a different planet might follow the same types of rules, but have completely different end products. So it would look completely different. Let's go to any other star with planets around it. The intelligence is going to happen because of crises, it's going to happen because you can only survive with that intelligence. But it could be from a reptile, that we are a reptile equivalent. It could be from a quadruped. It might be from a mollusk-like creature. The cause is probably going to be the same. The end result, anatomically, totally different. There could be a myriad of different forms that intelligent life takes throughout the cosmos. When we look to the earthly record of otherworldly beings that have visited Earth, they exhibit different characteristics. They have bird heads, dog heads, reptilian type forms. It's possible that these are the forms that these beings take on their home planet, and they might even coexist with beings that are even different from them. Within the field of ufology, there are multiple types of aliens reported. This includes winged humanoids, like Mothman, the Houston Batman. It also includes so-called insectoids, which, as their name suggests, they look like large insects. And then we have the reptilians, bipedal, reptile-type creatures. I think it's highly possible that they've adapted and developed physically in those fashions in relation to the conditions on their relative home planets. I think there are all kinds of creatures with intelligence in this universe that would shock us. I think your environment determines what you're going to end up looking like eventually. I think after time, that complexity of who you are physically adapts to what that planet is. If you look at some of the Sumerian illustrations, you see an avian bird head on top of a very strong human body. You look on the Egyptian paintings, and you have a human with an elongated skull and very green skin. And there is a one-to-one -one correlation between modern sightings that people are reporting both from abduction contact experiences, as well as what we hear from insider testimony, and what we see in the most ancient records of contact with the gods. It's the same people, they never really left. 